Cesar Lopez was ready, willing, and able. If you were going to do something, you were going to do it full out, and you were going to finish what you were going to do. Lopez grew up with her father, Anibal, serving in the military for close to three decades. He was inducted into the Canadian Armed Forces Sports Wall of Fame for excelling in karate. As a youngster, Sarah tried it for kicks. I thought that was something I could be into because, you know, I was a little tenacious little girl for a bit of time. I couldn't hack it because my dad was the instructor. He was the most intense person that I still know to this day. So I said, uh, no, I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> after a couple of weeks. Lopez was constantly surrounded by inspiration. In 2001, her older sister Jennifer was named Manitoba's High School Athlete of the Year. I think that I really started to see that change in competitiveness once I started to see my sister really excel in volleyball and basketball when she was in high school. And then I think from there, it just it kind of drove me to be that more, much more into it and that much more intense and competitive. Sarah followed Jennifer's impressive footsteps to Neelan, where she embraced a winning culture. In her grade 12 season, the Spartans hosted and captured the 3A Provincial Basketball Championship. Lopez was named the Tournament All-Star. Those last couple of seconds, I remember running the clock out, just dribbling the ball back and forth, and finally when the buzzer went and I threw the ball down, it was like, it's done. Like, we did it. We finished on a win. Coming off a loss, you know, the year before, third place finish. There was a lot of weight that kind of just got lifted off your shoulders. Lopez would spend the next five years at Brandon University with the Bobcats. The, all the blood, sweat and tears that everybody talks about, we did all of those things and we did it together. She headed to the sports hotbed of Hamiota to begin her career as an educator. Lopez was hired by a familiar face. I remember doing the interview and the principal at the time, John Zilke, who used to coach at Elton, was there. A lot of his questions had to do with sports and coaching, so I was like, okay, <laughs> I know this is a big part of their community. After five years of teaching and coaching, Lopez and her partner Kyle Van Jenny moved to Ontario. Van Jenny is a former university volleyball player and also serves in the military. They're expecting their first child this summer. It's going to be a new challenge and a new chapter, but Kyle and I have a really good sense of teamwork and I think we'll be able to, to crush it being parents. <laughs> With a baby on the way, Lopez is leaning on her Bobcat teammates. You know, I've been texting a lot of them lately being like, what kind of crib did you get? Um, what should I do in this case? What's your favorite diapers? The time spent in Bobcat Blue and Gold has made Lopez stronger for the long haul. A sense of grit and resiliency and a lot of fight just knowing that things aren't going to be handed to you on, you know, a silver platter. You got to fight and you got to dig deep and work for it. So I think in that aspect, it, that's how it kind of shaped who I am today.